Okay, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite scriptures again in the New Testament where Jesus says that um, I think it's worded like um, a prophet is not respected in his own town. It is only when he goes abroad that he is respected. And um, I'm not one of those people that try to make myself out to be more than I am. But I've noticed a lot of things about being in Buffalo, New York, which is where I was born. First of all, I noticed that the relationships that I've had in the past have never amounted to anything. The women that I've been with, it's like they all say or have all said that they want a relationship, but soon as when I ask them, would they like to get married? Would they like to get serious? They say, oh, well, no, let's just be friends. But I noticed when I go, like I lived in Atlanta for 10 years, I lived in, in Miami, I lived in California, and I lived in New York City, I noticed that the women treat me a lot different there. It's like they see something different about me that the women here doesn't see. Now, on to part two of the conversation. Um, Buffalo, or let's just pretend for a minute. Let's just say that I was Christ. Let's say that I am Christ, that, the one that everybody is waiting for. And that statement that Jesus made about a prophet is never respected in his own town. You know, it's interesting. If you think about some of the things that Jesus did, like, for instance, the woman with the issue of blood, when she touched his cloak, um, he felt power going out of him. Could you imagine him growing up in the place where he was born and all the different people that touched him and he never, at the time, never really knew who he was because he was a child? Could you imagine all of the people that benefited from being around him? And then as he got older and they got older, they just treated him like shit. And the reason being is because people probably knew who he was when he didn't know. But the thing is, is that people never want to give credit where credit is due. I guess what I'm getting at is um, there's this bank here in Buffalo. It's called uh, HSBC. I don't know if you can see that. This is HSBC. I believe it's a, a Japanese... Um, bank or it has some type of affiliation with the Japanese but the bank is uh, HSBC and uh, you can see it on that building right there well the thing is is that um, HSBC they have not only a lot of banks here in Buffalo but they also have an arena where they play hockey at now listen to that word hockey now my name is Keith so in the word hockey which is a sport you see part of the name Keith which the name Keith has the word key and remember in the book of Revelations, Jesus says, he who has the keys to heavens and earth. Now, the thing about this bank is, is that if you look at it, I look at everything as numbers because I'm a numerologist. I read the scriptures and numbers. I read names and numbers. So when I look at that HSBC, I see my birthday in there because H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. And I was born in August. And I see S, which is the 19th letter of the alphabet and I was born on the 19th day and I also see BC which represents the numbers 2 and 3 now the thing about those numbers is back before Hurricane Katrina happened I wrote a book in Atlanta about the number 23 in Psalms 23 and I was talking about Noah's Ark and a flood and lo and behold as soon as I distributed copies of the books for free there was a flood Hurricane Katrina and Rita where a lot of people died so, um, I'm, there's going to be more to this conversation right here, but just while I'm walking downtown, I just wanted to, uh, you know, put this out there and get it on uh, camera so that I wouldn't forget. But I'll talk to y'all later.